Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio, and it's time again for another hashtag event. This one is hashtag love winter art, and um, today is my watercolor day, so we are doing a winter landscape in watercolor. Um, so I am going to be applying the colors and drying in between each color, because I don't want them to bleed very much. So, and this is just a quick little painting. So there the yellow's done, and I'm blotting it because there was too many puddles. I always end up with too much water. <laughs> and I'm sorry I sound like this, but I have a cold, so we get what we get. So I did dry the yellow, and now we're going to apply some red. Make it look like a fiery sunset, I guess. So anyway, um... For the hashtag event, this is sponsored by the Creative Arts Collaboration Group, um, a really fun group of artists, and um, they plan hashtags about every month, and I try to join. Um, I sign up for so many things, I end up <laughs> with a little too much to do, but I think I've gotten enough, I've um, almost done one for every day for this hashtag event. It goes from the 16th through the 20th. And um, I should have one up every day. I'm not sure that I have that many yet, but I plan on it. <laughs> so here I'm adding blue. I did make sure that red and the yellow was dry. I didn't want green. You're still getting a little, get a little tinge of green, um, but it does help if those other colors are completely dry <clears throat> to eliminate um, getting brown and green and colors that you might not want. There, I dried it again. <laughs> um, so, if you're interested in seeing the art, all you have to do is in the search bar on YouTube put hashtag love winter art and you'll find the art by lots of artists. And, like I said, they'll be adding a video every day. So, come back and you'll find even more. I'm just trying to darken my trees so that you can see them there. one over on the side to balance my landscape a little bit. Um, I try to put splatters and that brush doesn't splatter. <laughs> so I make my own splatters. <laughs> well, I just put dots basically. <clears throat> I'm not very good at splatter controlled splattering anyway. <laughs> But I really wanted that kind of splattery look, so I just add it myself. Yes, I'm putting lots of dots everywhere. <laughs> but I like how this turns out. I, I really do. And I was surprised how quickly this went. I mean, not counting the drying time in between, which was long. But um, the actual painting um, was only about 14 minutes, 15 minutes of actual painting time. And I've sped this up double time, so it's about a seven minute video. <clears throat> with pictures on the end, of course. Gotta have pictures on the end. I hesitated a long time here because this is Payne's Gray. It's a very dark color. I'm like, if you're gonna put it on, you gotta be committed because it's dark. <laughs> so I'm drying that off and I just let that, just cut that out. And then we're adding kind of a blue-gray mixture, kind of down there, so the black doesn't look quite as harsh. And then more splatters. <laughs> and then, I don't know what possessed me, I decided I needed to see some of the branches 
in these pine trees. Once it dries, it doesn't look too bad. Just sticking it on the top of there, it just kind of was like, what am I doing? All right, I've committed. I started one. I've got to do them all, right? <laughs> Let me decide we'll have like a, a dead tree back there. There we go. Or a dormant tree, not an evergreen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so we let that dry and it does fade quite a bit, so it's not so bad. And now the unveiling. See how quick that paint, little painting was? That was a quick painting. But I love it. I think I might have to make copies of this and make it my Christmas card this year. It's an odd size because I just used a scrap piece of watercolor paper. Um, there was a little bit that bled underneath the tape and I tried to lift, but that yellow is permanent. It is not lifting. <laughs> it didn't make a dent. And there we go. So close up of the splatters. <laughs> well, I hope you liked that. If you did like it, please hit like. Feel free to share. I'd love to hear your comments. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.